Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody out in social media land and TV land. Welcome to the Ray Amanat Show. Of course, I'm Ray Amanat, host of this show, um, where we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of different topics, whether it's things that are going on in the news, things that are going on uh, here in Florida, things that are going on with me personally. Uh, I appreciate everyone that's following me. Those of you that like the show, please like, subscribe, and share. And let's see if we can get our numbers up. I'd like to uh, get a whole bunch more viewers. Thanks to all of you guys for helping me. If you want to get a hold of me, you can always contact or reach out to me uh, on my cell phone at 314 570 0243 for show ideas, uh, topics you'd like me to talk about, of course, um, uh, and then any other requests that you have, including uh, private lesson instruction, lectures, or seminars in your neighborhood or community. Um, again, that number was 314-570-0243. It's my direct cell. You can uh, text message me as well. So with that, I'd like to, you know, everything that's going on in the news right now is about Donald Trump, his trial, closing arguments on the defense side, closing arguments on the prosecuting side. What is the jury going to say? How are they going to, are they going to convict him? Are they going to say he's not guilty? That's all going to be coming out in the next day or so. Who knows? So all the news pundits are talking about that. I don't want to talk about that today. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little, a little bit on a different aspect of that. Uh, but before we get to anything, I would like to let you guys know that the Ray Amanat Show is an opinion-based show and does not reflect the views of any sponsors our affiliates, or any other networks affiliated with this production. Of course, I've got to do that just to cover my own. You can fill in the blank on that. But uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to the Ray Amrat Show. I would like to thank our uh, network sponsors the OBBM Network, and here's a little bit about them. Entertainment expands your horizons, takes you on fantastic adventures, challenges your skills. Independent media never looks so good. Welcome to a new sphere of influence. Our words mean business. Traditional families are honored, and the American flag still flies. So those of you that want to learn more about the OBBM Network, you guys can go to OBBMnetwork.tv. They have a whole slew of other podcasts, not just mine, that you guys can watch. Uh, you can put it on your Roku TV. They'll be putting it on Rumble and uh, Spotify and iHeartRadio. So you should literally be able to find my show as well as a whole bunch of other shows through the OBBM Network, through OBBM Network TV. Check it out. And thank you, OBBM, for having me on as one of your podcasts. So uh, I'd like to get into a little bit about I'm Just Saying. And this is, this is kind of in line with everything that's going on with Donald Trump, in line with everything that's going on with uh, Joe Biden and his administration. So first question to everyone is this. Are the Democrat left, are they diehard Dems to where no matter what happens, Democrats or, or people in the Democratic Party can commit the most heinous crimes or uh, 
be so corrupt that um, we, our government just is failing the people. But are the Democrats, are they diehard Dems that no matter what Democrats do, they're going to vote a straight Democrat ticket all the way down? Um, this is questions that I'd like you to ask those of you that are watching this on Facebook. Chime in. Are you a Democrat? Are you diehard? Are you just going to vote Democrat all the time just because that's what your family has done, your grandparents, your great grandparents? Uh, that's what you do. Or are there people that are going to start um, veering towards uh, the center or the right or maybe even independence because? They don't like the direction the Democratic Party is going. To me, again, this is my opinion, I, I think the direction the Democrat Party is going is via socialist, communist, Marxist, fascist. Uh, they're looking for bigger government versus uh, the right. And I'm not a Republican. I just vote with people that uh, are more in line with my morals and values, and that happens to be the Republicans at this time. Do I agree with everything the Republicans do? No, I think they're failing us on a whole bunch of aspects by not sticking to their guns uh, and stopping this wasted spending that we've got on a whole bunch of things that the Democrats get every single time they bring uh, a, a bill up for vote. Um, so are the are there are there, and I'm not saying this is every Democrat, everybody. This is just my opinion, so I'm not gonna make it a broad spectrum. But are Democrats blind to what's going on in our borders and with the corruption in our own government? Are they so blind? Are they? I guess CNN or or MSNBC or any of the other. They don't broadcast what's happening at the border, so maybe they don't know what's going on. But are they so blind as to what's happening to our borders, the thousands, if not millions, of people that are crossing on a daily basis, um, and the amount of crime that's going on, the amount of fentanyl that's coming into our country? Are you blind to what's going on, or are, 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 you, and are you accepting of that? Because each time you vote Democrat, you're more or less saying, yeah, we love those values. We want people coming in willy-nilly without being vetted, um, not being checked for any diseases, not being checked for uh, any affiliation to any terrorist party, not being checked for uh, bringing in drugs, not being vetted for, are you a trafficker? Are you the person that is um uh, being uh demonic to our kids by selling them for uh, when we talk about human trafficking is it for sex is it for labor or is it for um organs you know what where they're going to kill them and just take their eyes or their liver or their kidneys or whatever else and uh make money off of that the, those of you that are not seeing the trafficking that's going on or not paying attention to it due to open borders, are you accepting of that? Are you that blind to what's actually going on? Uh, and my third question to the Democrats is, do you hate Donald Trump that much that under no circumstances will you ever vote for a Republican? You hate Donald Trump that much that uh, I'm just voting a, a total Democrat ticket um, because we don't want Donald Trump in power. If you really look at the contrast between what the Democrats bring to the table, which is larger government, um, there's no accountability. The, the bigger the government is, the more finger pointing that there's going to be. And they're just blaming other people. Uh, the more power that they have, uh, the, the bigger gov government is also, hey, let's give, uh, promising everyone free stuff, free education, free board, free food, free cell phones, free whatever else, just so that they increase their voting base. 
We can't sustain giving everything away for free, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't work. Bigger government or smaller government on the Republican side, but there are some rhino Republicans that I think want bigger government also. This is why I, I push for uh, term limits on uh, people in our Senate and in our Congress because we don't need career politicians ruining our country. I believe in smaller government and uh, educating the general public in, instead of getting a handout, getting a better education, getting better career opportunities, and learning to be successful on your own two feet versus uh, expecting everyone else to do everything for you. Uh, that's my personal thought. That's my personal opinion. Anyway, I'd like to get to uh, one of our sponsors, which is Defenders Gateway. Let's learn a little bit more about who they are and what they do. Defenders Gateway. We have created an amazing program to drive business to your door. Defenders Gateway app is the most unique way to honor and support our active military, veterans, active retired first responders, Gold Star, and fallen first responder families. Our goal at Defenders Gateway is to create a national network of businesses, Gateway Partners, that offer honorary discounts to Defenders. Our exclusive vetting process validates the Defenders before they can use the app. No more stolen honor. We provide a seamless method of displaying discounts offered while directing Defenders to your door. The Defenders virtual ID presents a picture, current time and date, your store number or store picture, and the agreed location discount. Defenders Gateway is a unique and cost-effective program. Defenders Gateway. Hooray! Hey, can we give them a round of applause, please, for everything that they do? For those of you that are interested in learning more about Defenders Gateway, you can go to www.defenders-gateway.com. Uh, if you're a first responder, a veteran, or a current active duty uh, soldier, you can download the free app and start using all the products and services that they offer. If you're a business that would like to be featured on the mobile app, and get all of these uh, first responders and veterans and everyone to start using your uh, services or your products and everything at a discounted kind of price, of course, for them. Please go to defenders-gateway.com and register your business as a partner for uh, an affiliate partner for uh, giving discounts on the mobile app to all of the first responders and veterans. Thank you, Defenders Gateway, for everything that you guys do. Moving onward, uh, the, you know, we, we were talking about the contrast between the left and the right. Uh, the left is always pushing for bigger government and the right is wanting smaller government. Um, I encourage everyone, again, do your own homework, do your own research, your due diligence, or you vote in the election coming up in November, not just for the presidential ticket, but for everyone underneath it, um, from mayors to governors to board of your education board to your aldermen, uh, decision makers in your city. If your city is struggling, um, you don't like uh, the roads, they got too many potholes, they're not really doing anything to improve the looks of it the property values are dropping i mean here in florida uh, property values are so inflated i can't even buy a house right now uh until the bubble breaks but when you've got 800 to a thousand people moving to florida that, that that's not going to happen for a long time so i just need to work my butt off um, pay off my debts get better income and i'm going to have to pay that inflated price to get a house down the road. Um, it's not that I want to move anywhere else. I moved here to Florida. I love it here. Um, I just got to you know, play the game and play by the rules. 
Um, so do we want bigger government or do we want smaller government? Do we want handouts or do we want hand ups where we train you, we teach you uh, how to stand on your own feet and how to become success successful on your own, as opposed to, oh, uh, you're a minority, uh, black, white, your your gender, your whatever. Uh, let's give you more free stuff just so you vote for us all the time. If that's what you want, that's not somebody I really care to associate with. Unfriend me, please. Uh, I, I prefer friends that are like-minded, that are free-thinking, that are based on common sense versus friends that uh, you know don't think for themselves or don't stand on their own two feet. They want everything handed to them. If, if you're that person, please don't follow me. Don't friend me. I don't really care. I want to surround myself with like-minded people that are success-oriented, that are hard workers. And I will say that till I, the day I die. Um, so with that, I'd like to uh, get into, because we're nearing the end of the show, um, a slide that is always about how to get help most of your tv shows or your commercials or anything don't really talk to you about how to get help they say if you see something you say something you call 911 whatever um but I, I don't see a lot of stuff out there you know i i'm a safety instructor i work with child abuse i work with uh violence in our homes our schools and our communities so anytime you're dealing with domestic violence, I'd like you to call the National Domestic Hotline to get help. And that number is 1-800-799-SAFE. If you've been bullied through school and you've got suicidal tendencies, if you're a veteran and, and you're not thinking um, that life is worth living anymore, if you're Someone that's lost your business or lost everything, or you're going through a divorce or a breakup and you're thinking about taking your life. There's a lot of people that are out there that still love you and care about you and don't want to see you go. Please call the Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK, T-A-L-K. And get the kind of help that you need so that you can get back to that common sense thinking that we've got where you're on your own two feet and you're living a good life. Let people help you. It's okay to ask for help. That's the ego that's holding you back. If you are somebody that witnesses a crime, please take pictures. Take a video. But by all means, do an anonymous tip and call Crime Stoppers USA at 1 800 222 TIPS, T I P S. Let's get the criminals and the bad elements out of our streets, out of our neighborhoods, out of our schools, so that we can all help each other live happier, successful lives. With that, I'd like to uh, bring out the Wake the cluck up america t-shirts i've got mine on right now they come in white they come in black they come in all sizes uh sizes uh small or children's sizes all the way up to adult extra largest are 25 dollars. if you're a 2x or bigger they're 28 dollars plus shipping and handling all you got to do is text me call me message me i don't care um uh, give me the color and the size of shirt that you want you can Venmo me um, once I get all the information from you, and then we'll get the shirt out to you as quickly as possible. Um, let's bring up Clucky the Chicken. We talked last time. This was the original Clucky, and the Clucky that you're looking at now, bum, bum, bum. The clucky that you're looking at on the screen is uh, the creation that I came up with uh, along with my co-host Steve Reeve for Taboo Talk, and we're just making it a little bit more of a reality. So if you would like a t-shirt with Clucky the Chicken, Wake the Cluck Up America, 
special with 4th of July coming up. This would be a great Father's Day gift. I'm sure those common sense thinking fathers out there would love this shirt. Uh, message me, text me, call me um, at, of course, 314-570-0243. Order your shirts now. Uh, we'll get them out to you as soon as we can. All right, let's remove that. Bring me back to the screen. That is my time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and it's food for thought as far as it's not whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. It's are you somebody that has common sense? Are you doing the research and homework? Are you voting all right or all left willy-nilly because it's something your family has done all their lives? Are you blind by watching one side or the other on the news? Or are you comparing both stories? And then you figure out for yourself who's telling the truth. Do you have that much hate for somebody that you refuse to vote for them, even though, in my opinion, I think Donald Trump would do a better job in rebuilding our country and making America great again? Do your homework, do your research, and we'll see you on the next episode of The Ray Amanat Show. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. What you do?